Have you heard about the new UK trespassing law? Are you concerned that if you now wild camp with your motorhome or your camper van, you're going to get arrested and thrown into jail and find thousands of pounds and your life will be ruined? Keep watching, this video is for you. Hi, I'm Kat and welcome to Wandering Bird. On this channel, we share tips and tricks for motorhome and camper van owners to help you make the most of your time on the road. Now, today we're talking about something which I'm getting so many emails and comments about, and that is the new law that was passed in May 2022, which we're all calling the trespassing law, but is actually snappily titled the Police Crime Sentencing and Courts Act. Now, in this law, there is some wording which on face value looks like it will apply to those of us with a motorhome or a camper van who like to wild camp, or if you don't like that term, stay off grid, wild park, stay somewhere that isn't a campsite or an approved motorhome stopover point. There have been a couple of videos and social media posts that I have seen which have been, let's use the word dramatic, and which have been spreading information which quite frankly I think is wrong. Now I'm in no way a lawyer and I'm certainly not a police officer, but I have read the law and I'm going to share with you some facts which are written in black and white and blue uh, on the gov.uk website about the law and about how they're going to go ahead with using the new powers that the police now have. And I'm going to share my understanding of that and how we are taking that law to be. And then you can make your own mind up with that information on do what you're going to do with that. I do also have a call in to a local police department to get some clarification from someone who does have far more authority than I do in this situation. But I've been getting so many emails about this that I wanted to create a quick video sharing my opinion and what is in black and white on that law page so that it will hopefully help answer a lot of your questions. I will leave the link below to to the law um, so that you can go there and read it for yourself and again make up your own mind but let me share some of the key facts with you before I dive in, if you're new to the channel, hi, welcome. We share lots of tips for motorhomers and camper van owners. And if you'd like to get more videos along those lines, then by all means click subscribe. Right, first thing I would like to say is that those of us in the UK who like to wild camp, and I will continue to use that term, wild camp with our motorhomes or our camper vans, we don't have a right to do that. We have never had a right to do that. And I know that there are some people like, but in Scotland, wild camping is legal, but not with a motorised vehicle. And I have always said this, it doesn't apply. The law in Scotland doesn't apply to motorised vehicles. So those of us who have been enjoying park ups all around the UK have been doing it in a, a sort of grey area where it is tolerated as long as you are respectful of the people around you and the locals and don't cause any issues and basically don't leave any trace behind you. And if you are doing it in that spirit, most of the time it is tolerated as long as you sort of arrive late in the day and move on the next morning. So I want to be really clear from the outset, we've not lost any freedoms. The law hasn't taken anything away from us. We didn't have that right in the first place. Motorhomers and camper vanners did not have the right to just park up wherever we feel like and stay on somebody's land overnight. So it, from that respect, it's not changed. But this law has some very, very specific wording in it. And what I'm going to do now is forgive me, A, for reading it in my notes to make sure I use the right word, but also there's a fair bit of legal jargon coming your way. So pause this, grab a cup of coffee, definitely some chocolate biscuits, and let's dive on in. So let's look at what has to change. Let's go to the gov.uk website and read this law. Now, I agree, if you only read the first couple of paragraphs, it doesn't sound particularly great. And here are the first couple of paragraphs. So almost immediately you see things like the act creates a new criminal offence of residing with a vehicle on land without permission. And to be really clear, if you pull up on your motorhome or in your camper van and you intend to stay overnight, for all intents and purposes, you are residing on that land for the night. So that does apply to you. Also, it says the PCSC Act creates a new offence for England and Wales and an accompanying power for the police to seize property, including vehicles, where individuals reside or intend to reside on land with a vehicle. Doesn't sound particularly good for us, does it? Those of us who want to reside overnight in a vehicle, that's sounding pretty bad. However, the trick with this is to keep reading because it gets really interesting. And the key sentences as you get further down the page are these. 
The offence will be committed if a person who resides or intends to reside with a vehicle on land fails to leave the land or remove their property without reasonable excuse when asked to do so and they have caused or are likely to cause significant damage, disruption or distress. Also, a little bit further down, it says the arrest and the vehicle seizure powers can be used when a trespasser has met the conditions of the offence and has not left the land when asked to do so without a reasonable excuse. And just to make it even clearer, further down it says, the offence does not apply when no harm is caused, ensuring that a person will not be criminalised for their mere presence on the land. So, as far as I can tell, and this is how we're taking the law to be, if you turn up with an intention to wild camp, and then if you do stay overnight in your motorhome or your camper van, and you get a knock on your door at two o'clock in the morning asking you to move on, and you move on, you've not committed an offence. You just being there isn't an offence. The offence comes when you cause damage, when you are disrespectful to either the people, the locals, or property, or when you're generally causing a nuisance of yourself. But just parking up, doing all the things that I always talk about doing with wild camping, so don't get your outdoor furniture out, don't light, oh for goodness sake, don't light fires at the moment, oh my goodness, I, the people who are doing this and causing fires, it's just crackers. Uh, don't leave litter around, don't, for goodness sake, empty your waste somewhere in a bush, that's just disgusting. But if you just are like the majority of us are, who go somewhere to enjoy the beauty of nature, who don't want to book up a campsite three months in advance, who like the flexibility of not really knowing exactly where we're going to go, but parking up somewhere and having a beautiful night somewhere with an incredible view or in the middle of a forest. And then you move on the next morning and you've not caused any damage, or you've moved on if you're asked to move on by somebody in the middle of the night and you just you know politely move on. You've not done anything wrong you're not gonna get thrown into jail, you're not gonna get fined thousands of pounds. And that was always a risk we took because by wild camping, you know, you're not in an approved place. It was just somewhere to stop and you could always have been moved on. So as far as I'm concerned, nothing has changed. And this law has actually gone out of its way to say, if you move on and you're politely and you're not disrespectful to the police officer who comes and knocks on your door at two o'clock in the morning, Okay, so you've had a bit of a bad night's sleep. If you want a guaranteed night's sleep, go to a campsite or go to an approved stop up places. There are so many local communities now whose sports halls or sports clubs are allowing overnight stopovers. Yeah, they've got no facilities, but neither does a wild camping spot. But at least for a few pounds then, you know you're not going to get woken up. That's the, the trade off that you have for wild camping. The other thing that I want to make really clear is that if you are asked to move on from a place, it then becomes an offence to return to that place within 12 months from the day you've been asked to move on. So unfortunately, if you do get caught, for want of a better word, and uh, asked to move on from somewhere, you can't return for a year. So that's just something to bear in mind if there's a specific place that you like to go to. So I hope that has helped bring a little bit of, of I hope common sense to the situation and some facts in what seems to be turning into a volatile situation. So will we still be continuing to use wild park ups in the UK? Absolutely we will. I agree it's getting harder and harder. Uh, lots more local councils are banning overnight stays, putting the signs up, putting height barriers in, and it's getting really frustrating. However, there are a network of places like sports clubs, sports centres, other places which are allowing you to stay overnight. Yes, they may not always be free, but we don't have a right to free overnight park ups anyway. And if you can stay somewhere for a couple of pounds, somewhere that you know you can stay in overnight without getting asked to move on, then that's probably going to be a better option for us. I do want to just make really, really clear that none of this means that you can ignore a local bylaw, so don't camp up in national parks, uh, don't ignore oh, no overnight parking signs, that's just creating bad feeling between local councils and motorhomers. But also from a personal point of view, I'll be honest, I'm quite glad that the police now have the power to do something about people who are causing damage, who are causing disruption, who are defacing war memorials, who are leaving their waste all over the place. I, I 
that's not the kind of wild camping that we subscribe to. That's certainly not the kind of wild camping that I encourage. I'm sure most people watching this video, that isn't you either. But I'm quite glad that the police can now do something about that because that's giving the rest of us a really bad name. So that's my personal opinion. Again, not lawyer, not police officer. If you're unsure about any of this, by all means, go and seek the appropriate advice from somebody in authority because that is not me. I'm just sharing my opinions right now. I hope you found that helpful. If you are new to wild camping or you'd like to get some help don't forget you can download our free wild camping checklist which will help you get you and your vehicle all set up ready to go and we'll give you some do's and don'ts so you can do it in a respectful and responsible manner if you are new to the channel i promise that not all of my videos were this full of legal jargon but if you would like to get more helpful videos about motorhoming and camper vanning by all means hit subscribe thank you as always for your time and i'll see you on the next video bye